Hey gang, welcome back to Big Board. Wanted to give you a little, uh, little update on DAC2. We're playing the 7.4 uh, scenario and we're on the 19th of June, the end of that turn. In fact, we're ready to roll over to uh, the 22nd. And it's been a while since I've done an update, and primarily that's been because I've been doing uh, turns fairly intermittently, mainly, uh, say, you know, uh, the Allies uh, on one day, and then two or three days later I'll do the Germans, and then a week may go by, and so it's taken me probably, I guess I'm probably three weeks to play the last six turns. Primarily, you know, not, not because of any dissatisfaction with the game or anything like that. It's more that I've just been busy. I uh, had uh, uh, various bone breakings in the family with my son hurting himself and I hurt myself and uh, busy with work and bits and pieces and plus uh, lots of interesting games coming in the door lately. So uh, it's been a, a fairly hectic time in, a, in the Sharp uh, household. So... Uh, what has transpired, and let's kind of give you a feel for the flow of the game versus the specific mechanics of how we got there. Uh, the <clears throat> early in June, uh, there was a a big push uh, by the Germans to try and en encapsulate the uh, Badia Solemn area. And the the Allies had uh, done a good job of holding the line all the way over here and had uh, started to populate some hedgehogs. In fact, I think some of these have moved because I, I had to adjust the map. The map was slipping underneath and uh, they may not be in the exact positions where they were, but nevertheless. Uh, uh, so, uh, so they tried to populate this and then really found that due to attrition and the Greek campaign and uh, with the regular withdrawals, the random withdrawals, that uh, there just weren't enough units to prevent the ever-growing forces that were coming this way. You know, we've got the 15th Panzer, we've got uh, the 5th LE, we've got uh, a reconstituted um, a REIT division here, I believe, uh, an extra one or two Kampf group leaders, which gives us uh, some additional flexibility. And uh, then we got a, a bunch of, a uh, couple of really good roles for uh, replacements. And so any losses that have been taken by the Germans were fully replaced. Uh, supplement that by you know, part of May was chewed up with uh, simulcast turns, which meant a lot less supply was used, which allowed the Germans to stockpile some supply and move some supply from Benghazi, June allows us to move six, um, have six supply moved into Tripoli per turn, and that has then allowed us to kind of trickle in some, uh, some, for, some uh, additional supply. So what did all that mean? All that meant was that with some uh, ever-stretching, uh, uh, probing attacks by the Germans, that uh, once they got around this area here, the, uh, the Commonwealth realized that it was a untenable situation and gradually pulled back. Uh, they probably could have held out and fought, but in the past, <laughs> in the past, the Allies have just done really poorly going head to head. So, and in fact, that's why we reset the entire campaign from the 7.2 start was because of that head-to-head -head, uh, conflict not going well. So what we've done is managed to retreat in fairly good order. If you look at the uh, you know situation here, there are a lot of units, although unfortunately some here have now been uh, partially pocketed. We now have a lot of units uh, in hedgehog positions behind uh, escarpment hexes or uh, uh, down slopes, in it. and um, it's pretty strong. There is a opportunity to, let me just zoom out of here carefully. There is of course an opportunity to do some sort of end around here. I don't know if 15th Panzer is uh, brave enough to do that uh, without supply or without very much 
excuse me, without very much supply. So, so far we're, we're holding the most of my true, uh, I guess we'll call it the most of my true beer, Kal, Kal line. Um, <clears throat> That's kind of the state of affairs. It's been, uh, this is a fairly dynamic three or four turns from here to there, just lots of to and fro and uh, staged retreat by the Allies. The Allies have subsequently finished the Greek campaign. They've started to roll well for PAX uh, so that uh, they can bring in some replacements. They also got the Tiger Convoy which has allowed them to replenish their losses fairly significantly. This is now the dead pool here on the right. These are the units that have been removed, a very high removal rate uh, for, uh, uh, for folks. Um, although we now only have three units over here that have been removed and have the opportunity to recycle them back. But one, these, and all of these guys are lost and not coming back and we're awaiting the opportunity to rebuild some of these. South Africans have joined the battle, and uh, both the first and second uh, divisions. So it's becoming a slightly more balanced game in terms of uh, total uh, combat factors at play. Uh, unfortunately though, for the Allies, they are now very low in supply. So, uh, they've had to do a lot of uh, shuffling and shifting of forces on a ones and twos basis, and it's chewed up a lot of uh, supply. So, pretty interesting uh, dynamic going on here. The uh, the command headquarters is all the way back here, but uh, we have a where is he? He's here somewhere. Hmm. Here he is. The Italian headquarters right here who is uh, throwing supply to some units. Um, but he can't, uh, I don't believe he can feed the, uh, the Germans. So we're at the point where unless these guys are within range, then they're either out of supply or they are indeed uh, unable to pull uh, ammo and things like that if they're, if they're out of their five hex range. So that's why we've cleared this road that allows, allows us to keep in trace supply and we now need to start pushing um, supply forward to uh, enable us to build some sort of depot here where we can then stage the, uh, the, next, uh, the next push for the Germans. The Allies on the other hand are going to have to work out if they want to hold here or pull back to the really the last defensible line which is in fact uh, LLMN. There's a nice, uh, nice line they can they can set up here that's on hills and uh, uh, slopes, etc. But no more escarpments. So I'm inclined to live and die uh, right, uh, right in this little section here. Uh, I think if the axis is going to make it, uh, they're going to break through here and go for it. And the Allies really have to kind of suck it up and defend that area fairly, fairly deeply and fairly well. So we'll see what happens. Uh, Anything's up for grabs at the moment, and we'll get on with uh, the 22nd of June. Thanks for watching.